You won't. I'm a mummy! I'm a mummy! What do you mean why am I covered in bog roll? Ugh. It's Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I've lost my costume. So I thought it was better than that. Oh, bloody hell. I don't know why I bother. Uh, I hope Ravers. Happy Halloween! <laughs> yeah? Welcome to Ray Ruttles Race Night! God, I haven't done this very well, have I? Bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the dining room for the 706 and the spooky Sunday steaks because it's Halloween, it's, well it ain't Halloween, uh, it's Halloween tomorrow but yeah we can get into spirit tonight can't we? Ooh, it's a mummy, bloody hell Yeah, I've left it till last minute, ain't I thought I'd got my Dracula costume but uh, can't find it so yeah, lastminute.com jobby, uh, getting some bomb roll uh, thought it was better than that uh, anyway, the spooky Sunday stakes will be contested over a distance of 3 feet 11 inches and the going is fair. And there's five runners. Righty ho, the gates are. And in gate one, it's the Scarlet Pumpernel ridden. Oh, crikey, Ickle Ray, where's his head gone? He's got a severed head. He's a headless horseman this week. Oh, dear me. Oh, disgusting. Oh, oh he's, he's obviously alright. Still got a smoke flag coming out of his arm, so uh, he's obviously all right. Gate two, Loyal Pigeon. The Pidge, ridden by Starlet Blossom. Still searching for a first winner season, is the Pidge. Not been in the greatest of form in recent weeks, but you never know. Tonight could be the night. Gate three, Bockle and Bear, ridden by John Oliver with no trousers on. Oh, uh, bloody hell. Can't stand it. Cannot stand it. I don't know how he keeps doing it. Just when uh, some of these other runners look like they're pegging him back. He gets another win and extends his lead at the top of the table. Hopefully, he won't do it again tonight, but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not holding my breath. Gate 4, Amateur Clue, ridden by Barry Cryer. I think as we said last time out, Amateur Clue, he's had, he had some decent runs this uh, season, but just struggling to break into the top 5. But a win is all to take, you know, maybe if he gets a good win tonight, that'll kickstart his season. And finishing off the gate draw in gate 5, it's Steve, written by Mrs Peel. Now, Steve has been in a very good form in recent weeks. Complete turnaround from uh, before the mid-season break. Really got his finger out to Steve, pulled his finger out and he's doing alright. So, uh, who knows, maybe he's in for a first win tonight. We'll see. Right now, on to the odds. So, the pumping out, easy rank outsiders today, 5-1. to one. Uh, The pigeon at 9-2. to two. Having to clue in Steed, level at 4 to 1. What a change in uh, form that is for Steed. He was a rank outsider for weeks, but uh, yeah, 4 to 1 today. But you're out and out favourite at 2 to 1. Bockle of beer, ridden by John Oliver with no trousers on. Uh, and it's hard to argue with them odds, to be honest with you. But uh, remember, these odds are just for information purposes. Just to help you pick a winner. They don't always get it right, the tipsters, do they? Uh, and I'll be honest, I'm hoping they don't get it right tonight. Now, last week, if you remember, we saw Diamond Dallas Page swerve to avoid the gravy stain. But then, you see, he got cramped for room, didn't he, by Rip. And Rip uh, didn't let him back into the race. Rip had a very impressive outing. I got clattered by Ruttles up. And, and you see, Rip holds on for his eighth win at season, despite immense pressure from Diamond Dallas Page, who just couldn't get back into it. Just demonstrates the perils of the gravy stain, doesn't it? But with that second place, he were able to close the gap on Bockle of Beer at the top of the table. But will Bockle of Beer extend it further again tonight? Let's get to starting gates and find out. Yeah, and under start is all days. That's even higher than last week, that one. That's even higher than... Oh, they're right, off. Uh, yeah, now will Scarlet Pumpernel swear to avoid the gravy stain? He does, but you see he gets trapped by a little pigeon on that far side, but they both get caught by the fence. And it looks like it's a Buckle of Beer and Steed, but Steed gets snagged by Rottles Hawk, and Buckle of Beer is out on his own. Buckle of Beer is going to do it yet again. I hate him. I physically hate him. How does he do it? How does that bloody John Oliver with no trousers on do it? Oh, Henry Road, we're sure. Yes, uh, Scarlet Pumpernel, he swerves there to avoid the gravy stain, but gets into the line of Lord Pigeon, 
Pressuring uh, and the pidge and both the pidge and Scarlet Pumpernel slip up on the stool badly. And that leaves Steed and Bockler Bay out in front on their own. But then Steed, you will notice, gets snagged there by Ruttles Hook. And suddenly Bockler Bay has the field to his son. is out, away out on his own by a good half a length there. And you cannot give John Oliver with no trousers on half a length because he will show his class if, if you do that. And sure enough, he holds on for win. Steed manages a second. And haven't a clue. Gets third. Let's get confirmation of the results. So, confirmation of the results of the Dining Room 706 and the Spooky Sunday State. And first were Bockler Bear, ridden by John Oliver with no trousers on. I do not know how he keeps doing it. It is uncanny. I hate it. I hate it. Uh. Anyway, move on. Second, Steed, 41. Well done, Steed. Couple more points. Steed's had a real upturn in form in the last few weeks. That uh, mid season break's done in wonders. And third, I'm to Clue, also at 41. All five ran, no fallers this week. And for Scarlet Pumpernel and Lord Pigeon, the gravy stain caused havoc. It uh, forced Pumpernel to change his line, put pressure on the pidge, and they slipped up on stole, and they couldn't recover from that. And it was Steed and Bockler Bear out in front, but Steed then got snagged by Rutter's Hook, and Bockler Bear, ridden by that sodding John Oliver with no trousers on, has got another win! What has that done to the season standings? So, top of the standings, Bockler Bear, 14 races, 8th win tonight, has extended his lead to 5 points again, 32 points. I don't know how he does it. I do not know how he does it. Just for context, he won the, the title last year with only 34 points. Over 20 races. And he's already got 32. So, uh, crikey, I've just got to hope that Damn Dodds, Page and Rip can peg him back. They're in second and third, 27 and 25 points respectively. Dallas Green in fourth on 17. And I'm in fifth on Don't Let's Know on 14. Down in the bottom five, I'm at a clue, uh, is a mover. Do, 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 do. Haven't a clue, moves up a place. Yeah, sorry, uh, Fluff Freeman. Uh, yeah, he's uh, on sixth place on 12 points. All right on the night, down to seventh. Didn't race tonight, she's on 12. The Pidge is in eighth on 11. The Pumpernel in ninth on eight. But Steed is pressuring the Pumpernel. Steed, uh, upturning form in recent weeks, now means he's on seven points and he's desperate to avoid the wooden spoon. Pumpernel has got to get his acting gear, otherwise he's going to be right down on the bottom. So, come and see the other runners in action next week, Sunday, November the 6th, 7pm, for the gate door. There will be fireworks on the track next week for sure. And in the meantime, you can visit my website, rayruttle.com forward slash race night. You can check out the full schedule, season standings, assuming I've got my arsing gear and updated the table. But also, you can see my reviews. I've got a new series of Ray reviews coming out tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, so uh, yeah, tune in at 7 pm tomorrow for a special Halloween themed review and get in touch. Maybe, maybe John Oliver with no trousers on will actually finally get in touch and give us his thoughts on the season, but I doubt it because too Billy Big Balls to do it. But you could tweet me at Ray Ruttle or pop a comment below or message me via my website. And remember to poke the like button, uh, share the excitement to race now with your mates, and subscribe if you ain't already a subscriber. And I will see you next week for the fireworks fiesta. Okie do! Um, you what, love? What do you mean we've run out of bog roll? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs>